Tell you what, though, this big fellow is going to be a force in the Southwest Conference this year. The way he's played here in the second half tonight is going to have to help his confidence. Missed a couple of free throws, knocked out of bounds by Texas. Anytime you play the number one team in the nation and come away in double figures and both rebounding and points and uh, also being such a dominant force, it has to give you confidence. And I'm sure the Southwest Conference foes looking on tonight are already planning a way to deal with LaSalle Thompson this year. This is Cummings. Aguirre. Wide open for an easy layup. Teddy Grubbs, a great pass from Mark Aguirre. Aguirre, incidentally, is second only to Clyde Bradshaw on this team in assists. For a big guy, that is very unusual, but he can do it all. Ray Harper had it go in and out, and Bradshaw comes up with a rebound. Coming into tonight, Bradshaw had 23 assists, and Mark Aguirre had 21. His scoring average is down about six points from last year, but other areas are up. Dillard. Skip Dillard. And now DePaul leads it by 19, their biggest lead of the ball game, with 4.48 to go. 2-3 zone for DePaul. Thompson, that one a little bit short, rebounded by Bradshaw. And you see Bradshaw there beating all the entire Texas team, and Mark Aguirre, his third basket of the second half. Well, the crowd has seen five slam dunks now by Mark Aguirre, so they're getting their money's worth as far as watching the top college player in the country. But LaSalle Thompson has been doing very well for Texas. 71-50 now, Bushrod. Thompson with a follow shot. Boy, you could hear that one all the way over here. 20 points for LaSalle Thompson. But he's been virtually all of Texas offense with the exception of Ray Harper, who has 10 points. Four minutes to go, LaSalle Thompson with 20 points. Grubbs almost blocked by LaSalle Thompson. Ray Harper had it. Out of bounds off Aguirre. And Aguirre slapped it off with somebody over in the first or second row who extended his hand to him in recognition. And we're going to have a timeout on the court. The clock shows that we have three minutes and 53 seconds remaining to play in the ballgame with a score. DePaul 71, Texas 52. Let's pause for these messages. Subaru, an economy car is only economical if it stands up year after year. Spending less at the pump is no bargain if you start spending more at the garage. Be sure to join us for our next telecast of Southwest Conference Basketball on the Metro Sports Television Network, Arkansas and SMU Reunion Arena in Dallas, Saturday, January 3rd, 7 o'clock. You're going to like this Dave Bliss Ball Club, and I know that Arkansas has been a force for seven years in the Southwest Conference under Eddie Sutton. A great beginning for our telecast of Southwest Conference Basketball. Remember that Saturday, January 3rd from Reunion Arena, SMU in Arkansas. 3.35 to go. Ray Harper. Rebounded by Kenny Grubbs, who got the position on LaSalle Thompson. Dillard driving in heavy traffic was fouled by Bill Wendland. Texas now has decided to go with its two-guard offense. Fred Carson is in the lineup, number 10 for Texas. Uh, he's in there along with the freshman guard, Ray Harper. Harper, of course, took uh, Fred Carson's point guard job from him at the start of this season. It was Carson who ran the point for Texas most of last year, but Harper has just been super this season. Here in the second half, DuPaul has hit 17 out of 25 shots from the field, 68%. Texas, 11 out of 27, shooting 41%. Here is Dillard, and this is the guy who has now hit, what did he have to start the game, 39 in a row? 38. So Maybe he's now 39. 39, he's hit three more, he's got 42 free throws in a row. Going for number 43, he's got it. Skip Dillard hit his last 25 free throws of last year, has now hit his first 18, so he's hit 43 free throws in a row. Tell you again, the NCAA record held by Bob Lloyd of Rutgers is 60 in a row. Fred Carson in the lineup for Texas against the zone press. Wacker. Thompson. 3.15 to go. 73-52. DePaul now has also made a substitution. Number 13, Dennis Moore in the lineup. Ray Meyer plays with almost the same guys. Carson tries to deal it off inside, and it is swiped by Teddy Grubbs. Loose ball. Harper gets it back, and he is fouled by Dennis Moore. 
Dennis Mora, new face in the lineup for the DePaul Blue Demons. His nickname is Peaches. Ray Meyer, most wins among active coaches at 627, shooting for 628 here tonight in the Special Events Center, Austin, Texas. As a matter of fact, Ray Meyer is the sixth winningest coach in the history of college basketball. The fellow who is right ahead of him is John Wooden. Ray Harper. Adolph Ruff, incidentally, leads all coaches in the matter of career victories. Ruff won, oh, well over 800 games, 874 to be exact. Harper with one free throw, and the next one no good, 73-53. DePaul by 20 with 2.45 to go. Great move by the freshman guard, Harper, knocking the ball out of Aguirre's hands. Really impressed with Harper's play. Youngster from Cleveland, Kentucky. He now has 13 points. He and LaSalle Thompson have been just about all the offense that Texas has been able to generate. And Harper draws the foul, his third. Number six against the Longhorns in this half. Talking about those coaches who have had the most victories in their career, 874 for the late Adolph Rupp, Paul Gallon, 771 at Kansas, Henry Iba, 767. Oh, he was hammered inside. Ed Dittle, 759, and John Wooden, 667, Ray Meyer, 627. Let's watch it again, Steve. LaSalle Thompson was the big force that time. He just wasn't going to let anybody get a basket. He nearly took Mike Wacker's head off in the process. There's LaSalle, and uh, Wacker got hit harder than anybody else, but Randolph's the man who goes to the line. Three fouls on LaSalle Thompson. This is Bernard Randolph. And again, he is part of that Westinghouse connection, they say, at DePaul. He and Mark Aguirre and Skip Dillard all coming from Westinghouse High School in Chicago to DePaul. And DePaul has not missed a free throw. 15 out of 15 at the line for the Demons. They lead it by 20, 75-55. At press has given Texas trouble all night long. LaSalle Thompson inside to Wendlandt. Thompson with a tip in. I tell you what, Texas has got to be mighty happy with the play of the 6-10. 250-pound LaSalle Thompson. He's played an excellent ball game this evening. He doesn't have quite the range or the speed of a Mark Aguirre, but inside he is a dominating force. He's come down time and again with crucial rebounds tonight. And follow shots. And follow-up shots. And he's hit from outside as well. So he's done an outstanding job tonight here in the Special Events Center. 22 points for LaSalle Thompson, and 16 of those have come here in the second half. It's 75-57. There he is. Everybody calls him coach, and that is Joey Meyer sitting at the right of Ray Meyer. Bradshaw with the free throw. That is his first one of the night, and still, there's Abe, sort of resigned the way things are going. And I believe that we're going to have a chance to talk to Coach both uh, to Coach Ray Meyer and Mark McGuire if time permits at the end of the game, and it looks like it will. 77-57 with a minute 52 to go. Fred Carson, Harper. Mike Wacker. One shot for the Longhorns, and here comes Bradshaw. Harper tried to time his move so that he would block the shot, but he instead made body contact and drew the foul. He and Clyde Bradshaw have really had a running battle all night long. Both of them super quick out there on the court. And I think the young freshman Harper has played head up right with the senior Bradshaw all evening. Both have done excellent jobs playing the other guy. A minute 34 to go. It's 77-57. There's Bradshaw and still the ball has not missed a free throw. Let's see. They've made 3, 9, 11, 16, 18 out of 18 free throws for the number one team in the country. 19 out of 19. It is 79-57, and the 22-point lead now is the biggest so far for DePaul. Another new player in the lineup for the Blue Demons, uh, Jerry McMillan, 6'4", 190-pound freshman from York, New Jersey. So we've got a couple of freshmen in there. And for the Houston area folks, Brett Burkholder in the ballgame. 
Mike Wacker with two. This is Jerry McMillan, the only freshman recruited this year by Coach Ray Meyer. Burkholder behind the back pass and a beauty for Bernard Randolph. What a pass by Burkholder. Harper trying to reply from outside. LaSalle Thompson. And he is fouled with 56 seconds to go. Sam Manella getting ready to come in the lineup now for DePaul. Number 35. McMillan committed the foul. It's 81-59. And DePaul will move on to the Super Pit in Denton, Texas, where they will play North Texas State next Tuesday night at 7.30. And the Sal Thompson, four out of six at the free throw line. There's a basket by Mike Wacker. I think a moment ago I said Wacker scored on a bucket that Ray Harper actually got. So Harper should have 15 points. Wacker should have six. Good it's defense. 81-61. Good defense just then, Frank, by Bill Wendland uh, from Westlake. He's really playing fired up when he's in the ball game. Earlier on when he was in, he played uh, heads up against Aguirre, but picked up three fouls doing so. Bernard Randolph. Fred Carson, 30 seconds to go. 20-point lead for DePaul. Good feed to Harper. Ball will belong to DePaul with 26 seconds to go. Mark Aguirre, 25 points to this point, leads all scores. For Texas, LaSalle Thompson has 22. Wacker with a steal to Wendland. That's the first two points of the night for Bill Wendland. 81-63, 13 seconds to go. Foul is on LaSalle Thompson. That is his fourth. Well, there's Abe Lemons. He's not very happy about it either. We'd like to thank the athletics staff of these two.